What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total Let's well, Play as Russia. So to kind of round off what happened last time, I finally took Jerusalem after defending through many assaults. And can't remember if I fought Finland, but they're still being cheeky scamps running around doing their usual thing. Um, but the plan is still on target. I have this stack uh, for coming through Turkey, ready to push down into uh, Persia. They're going to sit there. It's going to take them still a few turns, but that's okay. I need, I'd need. i like to have that time to build up my forces a bit more. Oh, actually, let's take... Take two of you. So, yeah, they're still happy, and they're eventually going to start liking me even more from religious unrest, as they finally got my church school up and running. Um, but yeah... Things are going okay. Things are going okay. I want to progress down to Shrapnel Shocked. It's just so darn effective. Like, I probably won't have the firepower. Oh, damn. They died infiltrating, infiltrating Persia. Um, but it's going to take some time for the Turkish army to come around. And I'm okay with that. It means I can still take advantage of my money I'm getting from trade to upgrade my um, economic infrastructure so that when I do declare war... If everyone declares against me, then I've still got a bit of a leeway to do what I need to do. And I'm probably going to need to expand and build a few armies, actually. Some forts on my frontier towns to protect them from assault. I've got Austria on my border, and we're currently friends, but eventually I'm going to have Prussia on my border who won't be friends. I mean, we are currently at peace now, but it will... A time will come when that is no longer the case. So that might be a good idea, actually. And that Ottoman force that's come out from um, Cairo, I'm going to send my garrison from Jerusalem out to meet it and then just start get ready to capture Cairo. And once I catch Cairo, I'd be quite keen to make peace. Just to... Oh, see another Swedish force coming around. Oof. You see, Persia could be a bit of a sticky wicket, but we'll make it work. And ultimately, I think I need to, I need to get my, a rake round to start trying to assassinate those um, Ottoman uh, alliance broken between Austria and Sweden. Agent executed. Oh, I never knew slums started happening. Well, have a pottery. Okay, let's take all of my infantry out. Attack them. Well, not all of my infantry, a chunk of it. Let's take the rest of my garrison out. Yeah, they're still fine. Good. And then replenish on the border, and then upgrade. Well, start building, getting my basic structures up again, including my fishery. God, new towns are popping up everywhere. Okay, church is building there. I'm going to build a craft workshop there. New town emerges in Chechnya. Oh, let's get another. Ooh, I think I might get a church school there with you. Because where are those imams? Those imams are here. They're influencing this region. Like, don't where? What region capital is it? This one? Hmm. If it is, they're bad at preaching. Okay, let's invest this money wisely. Kiev's got a handy set of troop, handy set of uh, structures in place to defend itself. Ooh, Crimea's got another port. Well, then have a local fishery then. If they've, if they've already got a port, I'd rather just have a local another local fishery. Very poor Iron Masters works. Well, I could spend money to make money. Literally, what I just said not very long ago.
Okay, how's my economy doing? See if I lost all of my trade. If I lost all of my trade, my tax and my army upkeep is about equal. I've already got a very good gym minister, so I can't even do it that way. How do I, how do I recruce, recruce, uh, reduce upkeep? new ports. Oh, I've got another port on the Baltic. Oh, let's make this another trade port. Force them to have to blockade another port. Oh, and I've got more. Damn. Lots of cheap buildings I could have upgraded. But. So where's the road? So you have him coming from the south. The army from Turkey, hightailing it down. He's probably going to... Mm, if I send him down here, so how many turns is he going to take? One, two, three, four turns to get down here. Okay, can handle that. War declared between the Ottomans and Austria. That's okay. It means if I take Cairo, they might be more likely to make peace. Pirate of some such, doesn't really matter to me. Good garrison building up in Istanbul. God, ah, that's the reason why I'm not making much money off of you. Let's check actually that there isn't anyone else I'm exempting from tax who I otherwise can make money from. Nope, I think there's everyone. Sweet. But if we take Cairo, make peace, could be on to a winner on diplomacy. Let's try Sweden again. Oh, the ally with France and the Ottomans. Nope, still don't like me. They don't like... I tried to assassinate him either. I'm very friendly with lots of nations. So Persia, very friendly. Allied, ooh! It's the ally with Britain and the Mughal Empire. I'm allied with... Oh, God, there's a whole trifecta. Okay. Oh, so I'd care on the Mughal Empire. I could literally be on the war with... Again, a war with most of Russia. Well, that's what you got to do. I'm not going to be able to get an army all the way around here. All the way around here and land it somewhere useful. Maybe Sri, Lan Sri Lanka, but I don't think I could get... A, I really don't think I could get a ship to sprint all the way to the Atlantic or a navy. Hmm. All right, see, and turn. That, and considering my navy tech is so low. So I might be able to build a navy which is on paper powerful and useful, but really when it comes down to the details, it's pretty naff. I've got about four turns to keep investing in my in my trade, trade in my um to get my tax income up. Oh, good! And the Polish did defend. See, as long as they stay alive, they can be my bulwark against the Polish Empire. Stop trying to steal my tech. I know I've got absolute top tech because I'm a... Oh, it's because they're not religious people. They are scholars. That's why. See, the, the whole espionage game isn't something I'd rather done. I've just kind of let myself... Aha! You fools! You've let me make... You've let me trade. Spend all that money on income. On economics. Oh, no. I spoke too soon. If I had any sort of navy, I could push that back. But I don't. 
should build one really. You have just a couple of ships just to stop the isolated uh, individual cases like that past St. Petersburg. That should be pretty neat. If I can have... There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Beirut. Select. Not going to upgrade you, not yet. So 18,000. So what ship is this? It's a fifth. What can I get here? Build fifth, it's fine. I have to build up to a dockyard. Another new town. Oh, is this Batman? Very poor. Okay, let's hightail you down. Right. Again, the plan is spend all money on income. Construction goods. Right, Comey. Poor, with iron workshops. Iron Masters works. I haven't got steam engines yet. Well, yeah, build another monastery. Build another religious building, sorry. Just to increase this for the rate of change. Ashrakan, Weaver's Cottage. That place I'm not going to try to pronounce. Cannon Foundry in Jerusalem. Add infrastructure. Okay, now this place. Knock down Pasha's Palace. And build a Grand Opera House to offset any upset. To be honest, I might sort of resolve that, just to see if I can make my... Alright, so if I can do this, open, quest peace. Peace treaty signed. Open. Do you want to trade? Open. Present state gift, finest china. Let's make you tax free. And then let's find your university, which is probably over here. Destroy. Major fishery, right. Knock that down because you have goods that you can trade. Cool. So that's one enemy off my back. Now it's just the Swedes. So let's push up, see if I can provoke them to to assault me with their fresh army. With no artillery! Ah, uh, one 12 pounder unit. And this unit I've already ravaged previously. I need to get religious people up here as well. Are there are no more villages in Finland. No, they're just not growing. So there is one here. And there's one up here. Well, once I push them out, should be another question. Luga is developing. Where is Luga? Here. You will be a religious building. Because you're not mostly orthodox either. You're a bit unhappy. And you definitely will be. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Kidoki. We're getting closer to the point of... Uh, Needing to declare war <laughs> against the Persians and all of their friends. And everyone's going to hate me because they're my ally. <laughs> Say la vie. Right. Austria on the go. Hmm. Could do the carrier strike group. Yeah, I'll do that. They're going to give me money to trade with me. I'll accept that. That and they don't have any. They don't have any relationship with Persia, so they're like one of the only countries I know won't get all antsy about it. And Spain's pushing through North Africa, so I don't have to worry about them until they capture Libya. And even then, if they capture Libya, I'll just ask to trade with them. 
this just goes to show how much territory can own is Russia and still not be absolutely raking it in. Nice one, Poland. Keep pushing on. Might even give them some military tech. Oh, it's because they want to trade through my... Yes, yes. Yes, you may. Because that territory is now completely isolated. Not a monster, after all. Swedes are trying an end around. I think I'll recruit a bit more of a garrison in Finland, then just ignore them. Bar Barbary States, why is that flag different to... Have you rebelled against yourself? Huh. Pirates, <laughs> pirates, because they're not doing too much pirate. No, Barbary states there have rebel because they're not doing too much pirating. Has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Efficient port will help Trade. the population grow. Trade will be what I do. Okay, build. No, not you actually. You're probably going to get raided and sitch. militia unit to sit in that port when it's ready. Get you, just get you. See, Moscow's making lots of my cash, but oh god, the clamor for reform. It's getting so strong. Recruit more militia. Getting Jerusalem on the go. Upgrade the potters. Upgrading infrastructure. Right, upgrade. No, not infrastructure yet. Let's make Cairo a bit happier. Then increase infrastructure. Now, what can I do down here? What yield? Average yield. Let's get some cotton into the trade mix. Do I have cotton? Oh, I do have cotton already. Pa! This army's making excellent progress. Let's go all the way up here. Mm, to be honest, I think I'll just fight them. Assault. They're not going to put up much, pretty much all the infantry, one howitzer unit, fairly comprehensively. That and I'm goddamn Russia. <laughs> I can't destroy one half half strength uh, Swiss stack then what What on earth am I doing Artillery on the left, by the looks of it, based on the terrain.
Let's get everyone up in their face. My militia's probably okay to walk. Livgarde Garena Jabba Battalion. Oh, these grenadiers, it must be. They're pretty good. Is this their general? Oh my. Okay, they're moving out on the right. Got some dragoons, got some marines. To be honest, there's gonna be much call for artillery in this game. Unless they all get up here. There we go, everyone's getting ready to fire. Cossacks, grenadiers, everyone's getting ready to fire on this regiment of foot. With like little beanie hats. Stuck on this load of barrels. Need to stop, spin around, hit these grenadiers before they hit your line. Come on, they're right there. Oh no, they have to reload. Good. Let's get them into this house. Artillery's almost up in position. Oh, left my militia behind. Um, storm them. Let's get you militia up. It's massive overkill, but.
concerns, your flanks are exposed. Whatever would that be? Oh, charging in. Charge into those dragoons. Where's my militia? Need to charge in. There we go, the ones that made it inside the square. About to be chopped up. Cavalry's gone, deploying my general. And now they're trying to retreat. Not gonna happen. position. It's not maximum firepower, but it's manageable. Okay, let's focus fire. I should get, get them all to focus fire this regiment. If they hit the um, other regiment, then there's a risk of them demolishing this house with the whole unit inside. Also keys it one way. Ah No Run away Let's have a look at these blunderbuss shotgunners. Be sure our blunderbuss is alright. General's been killed. Let's bring my general back, ready to. No, don't bring him back actually. Let's just keep him here. She engaged that grenadier battalion. Charge into the shotgunners. The first volley did. Oh, they are only light infantry as well. There you go, get everyone in. I definitely want to continue this battle. Halt artillery fire. No, it's just a job of keeping an eye on all my God my inventory's catching them up. They are very tired and these are very tired.
Oh, these guys aren't going to massacre them all, but they are going to heavily damage them, which I'll take. Okay, now I can run you over here to try damage these guys, but I don't know how much job work you're going to do. Chop, they're done. The more regiments I can knock out, the better. Come on, it's just three guys. See, the thing is right there, but the pathfinding is just a bit dodge. Done. Sorted. Excellent victory. Oh, I could even chase them down. Chase them down with a few units of weakened line. Yeah. Annihilated. Okay. Oh, I can't do too much replenishment, but I'm going to replenish, then on to knocking out this knackered force, which might try to spin down to take Finland, and then this force, which is definitely not going to do anything of of great note. Cool. Um, but looking at the time, um, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.